Remember when presidents at least pretended to understand basic science? It's two carbon fiber sheets that are 90 degrees to each other with ingrained balls of standing up and then the other or carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. When they'd stumble through pronouncing nuclear but still managed to grasp the fundamental concepts. We insist upon nuclear superiority. Well, she said she thought nuclear weaponry and the control of nuclear arms. Well, those days are long gone, folks. During his March address to Congress, Donald Trump, America's premier bullshit artist, claimed the Biden administration spent $8 million making transgender mice. Yes, you heard that right, transgender mice. I bet they even had blue hair tattoos and nose rings too. The horror. $8 million for making mice transgender. <laughs> this is real. So is it true? Are they turning the frogs gay? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? No, it's nonsense. What a shock. You are fake news. Ugh, ugh, serious crap. This claim, like so many of Trump's claims, isn't just misleading. It's a deliberate distortion designed to trigger outrage. Trump probably knows exactly what he's doing when he conflates scientific terminology with cultural war buzzwords. Mm. No, I take it back. He probably doesn't, but his some some in his administration, I think, probably do understand basic science. The result, in any case, is a resounding soundbite that isn't meant to inform. It's crafted to inflame. Eight million dollars for making mice transgender. <laughs> this is real. And his supporters don't question it because it perfectly reinforces their existing worldview. The government money was being wasted on woke experiments rather than addressing their needs. So let's be crystal clear about what's happening here. Trump isn't just confused, I think at least, rather he's deliberately exploiting scientific illiteracy to score cheap political points. Making mice transgender. It's the same playbook he's been running since he rode down that tacky golden escalator in 2015. So what exactly is going on with these transgender mice? Yeah, there it is, the gay bomb. Well, for starters, the studies Trump referenced involved transgenic mice, not transgender. <laughs> transgenic, okay? Not transgender. <laughs> if you this believe that, it's okay with me. What's the difference? about the same as the difference between an actual federal agency and Doge. <coughs> Transgenic mice have had foreign genes inserted into their DNA for research purposes. They're genetically modified organisms crucial for medical studies. Transgender relates to gender identity, something that mice don't have. So yeah, transgenic mice are genetically modified animals used in essential medical research. They're one of the most important tools we have for studying diseases like cancer, HIV, and asthma. Scientists have been using them for decades to develop life-saving treatments. You are fake news. But why let the facts get in the way of a good cultural war, right? The studies Trump mangled include projects like $455,000 to study HIV vaccine responses in mice receiving cross-sex hormones, $3.1 million to analyze hormonal influences on asthma outcomes, and just short of $300,000 to assess breast cancer risk in mice undergoing testosterone therapy. Notice what these studies have in common. They're all researching how hormones, you know, the same ones used in medical care for both trans and non-trans people, affect disease progression and treatment efficiency. You know, the kind of research that saves human lives. None of these studies aim to alter the gender identity of mice. Because, and I can't believe I have to say this, mice don't have gender identities. They're mice. But the Trump White House, yes, the White House doubled down, claiming that, yes, the Biden administration spent millions on transgender animal experiments. They even published a list of six grants totaling $8.29 million. You know, it's almost impressive how they managed to both confirm the dollar amount while completely misrepresenting what the money was for. It's like saying that NASA spends billions launching people into the sun when they're actually sending astronauts to the International Space Station. Adding to this, the Weird House even accused CNN of fake news for fact-checking them. What on earth has happened to the United States, huh? This is insane. You allow 
lost your damn mind. Let's zoom out for a second and ask ourselves, why this particular lie? Well, it's because it's a perfect MAGA bait. It combines scientific terms that most people don't understand with transgender issues, a reliable conservative panic button, and government spending, meaning that we have right-wing outrage fuel giving us quintessential right-wing outrage fuel. And the Church of Woke? They're not ever going to be funny again. And it works. It absolutely works. When scientists and educated voters mock the absurdity, Trump's base gets another reason to believe their tax dollars are funding some liberal pet project rather than crucial medical research. This isn't just dishonest, this is dangerous. When political leaders demonize scientific research as wasteful or ideologically driven, they undermine public trust in science itself. Real breakthroughs in HIV prevention, cancer treatment, and respiratory disease management get lost in the noise of manufactured outrage. $8 million for making mice transgender. <laughs> Recall when Trump suggested injecting bleach might cure COVID. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. Same strategy, different day. But here's the most frustrating part. Trump knows exactly what he's doing. The transgender community makes up less than 1% of Americans, but they've become the right's favorite punching bag. By conflating legitimate medical research with cultural war rhetoric, Trump can simultaneously attack science funding and marginalized communities. Two birds, one stone. Efficient bigotry, the MAGA specialty. They're rapists, they're bringing crime. And it damn well works. It really does work. Earlier, I said trans and non-trans, rather than trans and cis. And it's because the right have successfully convinced most people that cis is somehow a slur, at least they have in Britain. Give it a few years, and they do the same for heterosexual. This term has almost become derogatory as it is used by both trans and non-trans people, whether it be them looking down on us cis people or cis people being taught to hate themselves because they're not transgender. and It's just absolutely ridiculous. So where does that leave us? At a dangerous crossroad between evidence-based governance and weaponized ignorance. On one side stands those who understand that scientific research, however complex and easily mischaracterized, serves humanity regardless of political affiliation. These advances in medical care don't care if you're Republican or Democrat when they're saving your damn life. On the other side are those who have calculated that scientific illiteracy is politically profitable. This is real. They've realized that mangling technical terms and framing research as ideological warfare generates more engagement than explaining why hormonal studies in mice might help your grandmother survive breast cancer. What's truly frightening isn't just Trump's willful misrepresentation, it's how effectively it erodes public trust in the institutions and processes that have doubled our lifespans and revolutionized human health. Because when people stop believing in science, they don't believe in nothing, they believe in anything. Anyway, join me next week when Trump dissolves the Navy because of the transatlantic. <laughs>